Today is the day the Lord has made. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted African. Please don't forget to subscribe after this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment at the comment section. Okay, so let's get right into it. Today we're doing yam chips with peppered sardine. Yam chips with peppered sardine. It's a very simple dish to do and it doesn't take time at all so if you are in a hurry to go do something else uh, but then you have to feed the family this will be a quick and easy way to do the yam chips with uh, peppered sardine and it's very delicious as well I must say. yam over there this is the yam it's already in salt water so I don't actually like putting the salt on it you know whilst there's no water on it. I think it doesn't absorb the salt properly or it becomes too much salty. Too salty, actually. It becomes too salty. So it's already in salt water. And I have the sardine oil. This is the sardine oil that I'm going to use to prepare the uh, peppered sardine. I have my onga as usual, but you can use any season of choice. I also have my tomato pepper and onion paste you don't need a lot of ingredients for this dish and um, i also have my sardine here two tins of sardine i also have my fresh basil that i'm going to fry whilst i'm frying my uh, yam but i'm also going to use it as a garnish afterwards so uh, uh, when you fry it in at least it will give that flavor to the yam but then you can also use it as garnish once you are done so, I'm just gonna put, the yam is not a lot so I'm just gonna try and see if it will fit the pan if you have a deep fryer you can actually use a deep fryer you don't have to but that will even make um, the cooking easier. You just deep fry your yam and then you, you do your sauce alongside. I'll make it quick for you. Because of the size of the yam, uh, it will actually get cooked quickly it's not going to take forever to cook you just need to make sure it's crisp on the outside you know, so give it like five seven minutes it should be done oh the smell so it's almost done so i'm just gonna put my basil this is all the basil that i have i'm just gonna put that in let it fry with it the flavor. Mm. Okay, so now I have it the way I want it. I'm just gonna take it out. For my garnishing. Yeah. You should see how crispy this is. Okay, so let's just fry a couple more minutes. Okay, so this is cooked now. Just gonna take everything out. Okay, so this is how it looks now. So we're just gonna do the sauce. So we're first of all gonna put our oil, sardine oil. This is oil from the sardine. We're not gonna put in any extra oil. Oh, the smell. 
okay then we're going to put in our tomato tomato pepper and onion blend because sardine is already salty and we are using the oil you wouldn't want to uh, put a lot of seasoning in it so you just do it bit by bit you put it in you taste you put it in you taste so you don't overdo the seasoning and then the sauce becomes um, salty let's taste it now yep okay So we let this boil a little and then we continue. Okay, my seasoning is on the low. Just gonna pour the rest in. Yep, that is boil. So as the name suggests, peppered sardine, you have to make sure your pepper is actually more than your tomatoes and then your onion. It has to be really hot or spicy. After some few minutes, just put in your sardine. And then in the sauce, divide your sardine into pieces with your spoon or your ladle. To get it into pieces, not like whole. Mm -hmm. Hope you get to try this and enjoy it don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave your comments at the comment section let me know if you have anything else for me to do and i'll gladly do it for you thank you bye